This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This should be the round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So, now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back the first show today. We're back with another one. Uh, but on today's show, we're going to get into, you see the topic, Paul Charlo uh, wants to unify 160, and a lot of y'all are talking recklessly. Um, but before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share uh, this on all forms of social media, um, hit the bell icon, subscribe, leave a comment, leave your thoughts, let me know what y'all think. Um, also, please subscribe to our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely te- dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, and all proceeds go to charity. It goes to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, because some of y'all are talking real reckless. The 160 pound division is not the best division in the world right now. Jamal Charles is the best fighter at 160 pounds. Um, he should be favored to beat anyone at 160 pounds. You look at the other champions. Raoda Murata, he gets hit more than Montiel does. If Montiel fought Murata, I would probably take Montiel to win that fight. Not that Morales is a bad fighter. It's Montel's, it, it, like I said before, I, I, you can go back and listen to the show I did before the fight. Montel's a pretty good fighter. <clears throat> He's at least an equal to Morota. Who else? Uh, Triple G. Triple G looked great against Zamorada. How did he do before that when he fought Darren Pacheco? Got a gift decision. He needed a gift decision, a fight he clearly lost against Darren Pacheco. The guy that Jacobs dominated. The guy that Charlo won every round against just about, um, again, good fighter. But Jamal Charlo destroyed him. Easy. Uh, easy work for the most part. Um, Triple G needed a gift decision. And the only and the only guy he's beaten since then is Amarada, who just got outclassed by Munguia. And then the other champ is Andre. Demetrius Andre, who likes to fall asleep behind the wheel after a couple rounds. Guys, look, you, you can say what you want about Jamal Charlo. You can say what you want about his performance. You guys think Martel's a bum? He's not a bum. I did an entire show on that before this fight ever happened. So I'm not he's sitting here making excuses for another Texas fighter. I said Martel's a good fighter. I've said that twice. I said he was going to lose. I said he'd probably lose by stoppage. But his chin was real. My deal shit was real. Like, I was tough. Um, but Jamal Charles' performance was fine. And, and even if you don't think it was spectacular, who in there has recently given a spectacular performance against a better opponent? The answer is nobody. Did Andre look good against BB in his last fight? No. Uh, the last good fighter, the last decent fighter, Triple G fought, he lost to. Darren Chango got a gift decision. And then Morona. Morona is what he is. He's not a bad fighter, but he's, he's on the level of Montiel. He, he hits hard. He's come forward. I mean, Jamal Charlo would beat him just as easily as he beat Montiel. And Charlo won 11 rounds or 10 rounds of my scorecard. Again, and he won the first nine or eight against uh, Montiel. So it's not like that fight was competitive. Montiel was just rugged. Charlo was clearly the classier guy who clearly won most of the rounds, at least 10 of them. In a non close fight. I mean, this is what he gets beat up for. I mean, the performance was fine. And, and who in the division do you think is going to beat him out of those three champions? Right? Because don't keep the other one. He says he wants to unify. If he wants to unify, he has to beat the other three champions. Those are the three champions. Charlo should be favored against all of them, and he would beat all of them. Triple G, if you want to make an argument, Triple G could beat him. Let's have that discussion because I think Triple G is shot. It's 39 years old. 39 years old. 
Let me, you guys, look, again, if you want to say, I gave Jamal Charles an A minus on his performance because I thought it was fine. I thought he did what he was supposed to do. He just didn't get him out. That's why he didn't get an A. But it's an A minus performance. I thought he did what he was supposed to do. <laughs> I, Audrey doesn't stop people. Audrey goes the distance. Tri Triple G went the distance with Darvichanko. And, and he blows out overmatched fighters. I'm not saying Triple G's a bump. Triple G's a good fighter. He's past his prime. And at this point in their career, this stage in their career, Charlo beats him. Jamal Charlo is right now, currently, the best 160 pounder in the world. He's the best of the 460 pound champions. And if he fought the other four, uh, if he fought the other three champions, he'd be favored and likely win all three three fights. You know, you, it was a couple weeks ago, it was last month, that y'all were saying that Andre would be outclassed by uh, Canelo, like that's a zero fight with Canelo. Now he's going to beat Charlo. He's not going to beat Charlo because he falls asleep behind the wheel. Triple G lost to Darvichenko. Jamal Charlo dominated Darvichenko. And I know boxing meth don't work that way. But come on, Triple, Triple G has regressed. Triple G is not the Triple G that he was years ago. He's not the one that fought Canelo in the first fight. He's a different fighter. He's an old fighter. Charlo beats him. And then Marota. Does anyone really think Marota would beat Jamal Charlo? Really? He lost. He got dominated by Rod Britton. All due respect, beat him in a rematch. But this is not a great fighter. He's a great puncher. He's tall and long. He's a good puncher. He's kind of like Montiel. Charles just took Montiel apart. I, I know he didn't stop him, which is why I gave him a But there's nothing wrong with that performance. Guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you guys agree with me that th th this Charles thing is, is being blown way out of proportion? Leave your thoughts, comments below. T tell me who you guys think is the best middleweight of the four middleweight champions. So don't give me Charles Conwell or some guy who's not a middleweight or Canelo who's not a middleweight or not a champion in the division. He says he wants to unify. Of those three champions, which one would beat him? And I know what y'all are going to say. You're going to say you're the Andre. I'll, I'll, I'll see y'all in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe to 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Uh, please follow our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, to keep you up to date, we'll be back later today with a Chris Colbert show. Uh, Chris Colbert's fight with Gamboa. is not canceled, but Gamboa looks to be out. Uh, we're going to do a second show on that. So uh, it is June 21st, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.